it was this fourth year in Bible school that you had told me a couple of years ago. You said, Daddy, I probably will get married someday, but it will be an intellectual decision because I don't see how somebody can just fall in love. That's not very intellectual. It doesn't happen. And then you met Brian. Brian, you've weaved your way into our hearts as you have into purpose. I want to thank your parents for raising such a fine young man. You will never be an in-law to us, but you will be a part of our family. We've grown to love you, and you are the perfect match for faith. things to say about marriage. I have 27 of them, but it's kind of hot, so I'm going to tone that down. What you put into your marriage is what you'll get out. Do the hard work, because it only makes it better. Your kids will imitate the best and the worst parts of you, so make sure that they see love, mercy, kindness, and tenderness. Guard each other, because the world won't guard you. Date each other forever, and surprise each other, and don't forget why you fell in love. Brian, always fill up her car for her. And faith, don't run the car on empty. Fight for your marriage with all that you have. And when you can't fight anymore, give it to God, because he will continue to fight for you. You need to honestly tell each other you love each other as often as you can, because you never know when it might be the last time. To be my lawful wedded wife. Whether thou goest, I will go. Whether thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people will be my people, and thy God, my God. I promise to stay consistent in my love, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and health. To love and cherish, patterning my life and our marriage according to the word of God, and following his will, and his will alone. I pledge to thee my allegiance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I love you, Faith. Brian, you may greet your bride. 